I am headed on my easy five mile run today. It has been a wild morning. It is now in the afternoon. Whew, crazy days, back to back crazy days. Yesterday's video, it was all over the place. That's just kind of how the day was, you know? It was waking up, making coffee, getting haze in to daycare, then working from Emily's parents' house for the day. So we live in Bella Vista, but everything we do is in Bentonville. It's like 25-ish minutes, depending on how many traffic lights you hit. And so with that, we try to limit our trips back and forth, so we brought our dogs in. After that, got this urge late at night. I was like, mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna work out. I wanna do some chest and some bro gym workouts. You get those cravings and feelings every once in a while. I haven't had one in a long time. Yeah, I haven't lifted weights like that in a while. That's the first time doing bench press in months. Now I'm back going to run again. The more I get into running, the more I'm realizing paces are very crucial and very different. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you're like, oh, a nine minute per mile. Oh, a 10 minute per mile. It's like that one minute gap is huge. And also just a 30 or 40 second gap is also huge. So starting to realize the significance of that as we build in more tempo and marathon runs and whatnot. Yeah, so should have gone maybe a little bit slower. Again, I just, I don't look ahead very far. I really like, I just am in a bad place of like, I don't look farther than a couple hours ahead. You know, I'm like, okay, what am I doing for the next 90 minutes? Okay, cool. 20 minutes later, I'll look and I'm like, okay, what am I doing for the next 90 minutes? Probably not the best way to go about and doing things, but that's what I do. That's where I'm at. That's who I am for now. Uh, we're changing that though. Today, five mile, easy run. I looked ahead, I knew what I was doing. Just a low heart rate, keeping it under 155 throughout the entire time. Well, the park is still somewhat closed and under construction. We're gonna see if I can run around it. If not, I'll have to run on the trail again, which isn't ideal. Let's go, let's go. Watching too much frozen these days. Update, construction, new trail. Uh, there's just very limited parking. Man, the bugs are out. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, just me. As soon as you take off running, gotta go to the bathroom. Like, there's no getting around it. 20, 30 steps in, the sensation to urinate goes through the roof. Sensation, the urge, oh, it's ridiculous. Doing this five mile run, usually do two and a half out, two and a half back. It's like a lot of my ideas in life. Got this idea, if you like it, there it is. If not, you can throw it right back. Just bring it right back. It's from a movie, I don't know which movie. Most likely Will Ferrell. Man, if you can hear it, the bugs are screeching at each other. That's just the way my brain works. It's like anytime anybody says anything in conversation that I'm a part of or even adjacent to, my brain looks like that SpongeBob scene where he's, you know, flipping through trying to find his name. What's his name? What's his name? I got nothing on a name. Come on, baby, what's the name? But instead of my name, you know, sometimes I'm looking for my name, but you know, most of the time I'm looking for movie quotes, song titles, song lyrics, and then I implement them into the conversation based on whatever they just said. That's just, that's what I do. I don't know why, I can't help it. This heat, this time of year, it's got me having flashbacks to living in Conway, go to school, go part-time work, go do CrossFit, and then go play sand volleyball at the church for two, three hours at the end of the night. Unreal. Not crazy for me to burn like 4,000 calories in a day, that constant, I'm exhausted, but I keep going. Is it healthy? I don't know. Do I like it? Yeah, I do. I say all that because my wife, she just got a new gravel bike. So in Bentonville on Thursdays, there's a group, they have like an intro to gravel newbie ride, I guess. And so we're gonna go do that. I don't have a gravel bike. So just, you know, gonna be using my mountain bike, but it's like doing this five mile run, going to do that. I don't know how long that ride will be. Back in the tunnel. You know what that means. Finally, you put my love on top, baby. So the one that I love, baby, you're the one I need. Ow. More construction. It'll be so nice when they get all that done. Sometimes I run with AirPods in, listen to a podcast or something. That's usually on days where I don't wake up and have time to 
just have a little solitude, collect my thoughts, have some quality time in the word, you know. Um, so on days where I don't get that, that's what I do on my run is no AirPods. So that way I can have about an hour just to focus, clear my head, talk with God, simple things, you know? Well, there's my answer on when the construction will be done. I love how they put winter of 2024, because that could be January, February of 2024, which isn't too far off, or like December of 2024. So six months, 18 months. Which one is it? I don't know. Em, where are you? Here I am. How is it? Nah. Ah. Almost up. Going to meet up with a group, doing a group ride. First time, intro to gravel. Emily with the new bike. First gravel ride, how'd you feel? Okay. Very hot. Did almost 17 miles, which made over 20 miles today. Activity. Good stuff. I love it.